Hello everyone, today we're going to do a remix video of the Nelson Nevada Visit. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll see you in a second. REMIX! All clear. All clear. Okay, hitting the road here to Nelson, Nevada. The ghost town of Nelson is located in southern Nevada, about 45 minutes south of Las Vegas, along Highway 165 and five miles from the Colorado River. The town sits in the El Dorado Canyon, which was first discovered by Spanish gold prospectors in the 1700s. In the late 1850s, more prospectors found gold and regular mining began. The canyon's most well-known mine, Tet Caddy Cup, was established in 1861. The area was known for attracting Civil War deserters from both the Union and Confederate armies. This was thought to be mostly because of the canyon's remoteness at the time. As the area grew, disputes, bloodshed, and killings became common, especially with the closest sheriff being over 200 miles away. The area is also known for a mass murder that took place in 1897 where a renegade Native American reportedly murdered several local people, including camp leader Charles Nelson, for whom the town was later named for. Most mining ceased in the area in the 1940s. It is estimated that the mines produced about $10 million worth of ore between 1864 to 1990. Today, Nelson is a popular tourist destination especially with travelers visiting the Las Vegas area. El Dorado Canyon, head of steamboat navigation in Nevada. El Dorado Canyon, the site of a mining boom, runs east to the Colorado River. Prospectors began digging for gold and silver here about 1859, forming the Colorado River Mining District. The three largest mines, the Techata Cup, Wall Street, and El Dorado Rand Group yielded over $6 million. This portion of the Colorado River was navigable before the construction of the Hoover Dam, allowing steamboats and barges to freight goods 350 miles from the Gulf of California to the mouth of the El Dorado Canyon and upriver. The steamboat era peaked in the 1880s but continued to the turn of the 20th century. In 1867, the U.S. Army established an outpost at El Dorado Canyon to secure the riverboat freight and protect miners in the canyon from Native Americans. In the 1870s, the mines flourished again, producing ore until World War II. The Techatica Mine, located in 1861, was the most important mine in El Dorado Canyon. It produced millions of dollars of gold ore and was originally served by steamboats on the Colorado River. The mine's name is taken from two Paiute words, meaning hungry or bread. Two of Nevada's most famous renegade Native Americans lived in the canyon. Avote, who killed five victims, and Keho, who killed over 20 people. Near the center of Nelson, Keho killed his last victim, Maud Douglas, in 1919, and successfully eluded sheriff's posses. Keho's cave. In 1940, Charlie Kenyon and Art Schroeder located a cave above the Colorado River, about 12 miles northeast of Nelson. In it were the remains of Southern Nevada's last great renegade, Keho, who had been dead about six months. Keo had grown up in El Dorado Canyon area and was responsible for a string of murders between 1910 and 1919. After the last killings, he continued to live in the area for another 20 years. The bones were identified by physical characteristics and artifacts found in the cave which were known to have come from various murder victims. Sure is a lot of cool cars over here. Check out this VW bus trailer thing.
Is that a pink Cadillac or am I wrong? Fun! Let's take a look around here. The beautiful desert. Check it out. Here's that Cadillac vehicle again. It's hooked up to a trailer. How cool is that? Boom. Look at the remnants of this old building. Another short bus. Let's go up these stairs. There's that old church again. Wow. Back inside we go. Pretty cool. I'm not sure what this building serves as. I don't know, it looks kind of unfinished. It seems old, but kind of remodeled old, you know what I mean? Look out below. Check out the loft up there. Hello, why is no one working? Get to work. Hello, come on. Let's go, get to work. Forget it. Come on now, break time's over, get. Come on, get. Break time's over.